Hello everyone! Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. My name's Destiny and today we're going to be doing another thread up shoe unboxing. These are my favorite boxes. I'm very excited to open this. If you're new here, um, my name's Destiny again. I am a stay-at-home mom to three small children and I do reselling on the side. This is a blind unboxing. I have not looked in here. I did get it open because I usually am not very coordinated with scissors. This is going to be, whoa, sorry about that. It's going to be 15 pairs, and this is going to be 15 pairs. It costs $80. I did have some credit because I've been selling off some old inventory on ThreadUp. I did use that. Let's see what we have first. So we have some Nikes first. They look like this. Hopefully they are real Nikes. I know sometimes they're faked, but hopefully this is not a style that's faked. This is a size eight. I think these are women's, but I can check with the other size. So this is our first pair. Not bad. And they look a little dirtier on camera than they actually are. It's just they have these little perforated holes. Next, these are some Aldo, if you can see that, little wedges, like gladiator wedge. And let's see what we can find. Here's the size. These are women's eight. Definitely can sell these. I don't see anything glaringly wrong with them. I usually will look up comps and put them on the screen for you guys. They actually have a second pair of those Nikes, but these are these are a size eight as well they're two years newer than that pair was two. that pair came out in 2016 these came out in 2018 and these are not perforated they're just leather that's kind of interesting but same size next we have a pair of heels heels are probably my least favorite shoes to sell it's okay though i will sell them these are asos asos Here's what the tag looks like. Let's see if we can find a size on here. Here we go. I believe these are a six. Okay. As far as I can tell, these are a six, but I will look better. Yeah, size six. These are some pumps. They've got some fringe and tassels at the ankle. ASO sells fairly well for me. Not mad about those. We have. Let's find the other one. Hopefully, the other one's in here. I'll save this one. Next, we have Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole. You can see that. I'm pretty sure I've heard Kathy at Ginger Marvin talk about this brand. I've heard of Kenneth Cole, but specifically the Gentle Souls line. They look very nice. These are size 7, and these are called the Eugene Travel Ballet Flat. And a very interesting orange color. Oh. Guess what I got? If you recognize this little logo, you know they are fry boots. I'm so excited about that. These are size 5, maybe. Why can I not find the match to any of these things? They did not pack these very well. Here's the other one. There we go. Uh, looks like these are a size six, not a five. So that's not too bad. Size six, actually in very nice condition and they smell so good. If you like the smell of leather, fried booties. Always happy with that. This box came to jo from Georgia, if that matters. You should find I get a lot of good stuff from Georgia. O M. G. Do you see this? Tory Birch boots. I have never gotten Tory Birch anything and I'm so excited to get these riding boots. These are also a size 6. And because I've never really sold Tory Birch, I hope these are authentic. Uh, I'll do a little research of course, but they are leather. They have a style number. 
Here is the information on the inside. We have this lining that looks like Tory Burch. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Let's put the other one out before I blow a gasket. It does have like, you can see, some wear on the toe, but I'll use some Dr. Martin's Wonder Basalm on that. Clean these up just a little. They're definitely leather. Oh, that's so exciting. This is an awesome box because I just saw these, which are Chacos, women's size seven. These are a cool colorway. So, and like, look at the bottom of these. Super great condition. Okay, these. Sorry about all the crinkling. I'm gonna pull out some of this stuffing. And if I could find a matching pair, we'd be doing good. Right, here's a matching pair. We have some fairies, which not as exciting, obviously, as Tory Burch Fry or Taco. But these are fun. Like, they got this. And if you don't know what Sperry looks like, hopefully I can get like $20 out of these. These are a women's size 9, so that's good. And I heard that leopard print is going to be in for this fall. This brand is called Nisolo. And these are a size 10. Here's what the brand looks like. I've never heard of this brand. So hopefully it's really good. The bottoms have a little wear to the leather soles. Nothing we can't deal with. And they're really cute mule. Size 10 is great. Happy with that. These are Saludos, which I do like to sell. I have sold before. Women's size 8. They have this fun, like, espadrille. That's kind of their thing. Wild colored shoe. This brand just looks kind of cheap. I could be wrong. It's called Etnine Agner. Oh my goodness, I know I'm butchering that and I'm really sorry. Um, it is these silver little flat, or not really flat, they got like a kitten heel. They look to be a small size, but I don't see a size on them right now. close to the bottom. Ah, here's the other shoe I was looking for earlier. These are some platform and they are, you can kind of tell, Sam Edelman's. So I'm happy with that. These are a size 6 as well. I'm guessing I got some lady's box she sent in since they're mostly size 6. But I'm not complaining because she had good taste. I think we have two, three pairs left. These are Ellie. Don't know um, anything about that. If you can kind of see the brand. Size 9. It's an interesting little heel on them. I'm sure they're sellable. We have these are an Aubrey Lynn. Lynn? Lynn. Aubrey Lynn. These still have the stickers. They look new, but I've never heard of this. And they're like a wedge. Oops. I like a wedge, maybe. And the last thing we have here are a pair of Born wedges. Born's not a terrible brand. These are not nearly as exciting as some of the other brands. These do have some toe prints. I think I could still get something for these though with the cute little bow and they feel like leather. Also a size six. So I bet all these belong to that same lady. All right, that was all. 15 pairs. I got really excited when I saw those toy birches, if you can't tell. I'm going to go and count. Let's see if I got 15. Three, four. I had to count twice, but they actually gave me 16 pairs of shoes. Not mad about it. And with paying $80 for 16 pair, I think we can make all our money back on just the Tory Burch boots. So I'm very excited about this box, very pleased. I usually get the best things from Georgia. Let me know what you all thought of this box and I hope you guys will consider subscribing and liking the video and stay tuned for my what sold video so you can see how fast these shoes sell and how much they sell for. Hope you guys have a great week, thanks.